In a statement issued on Thursday, the Bureau of Education has unveiled a report on the status of the education system in Tigray. Head for the Bureau, Dr. Shishai Amara said the report found that over 2,146 students and faculty members have been killed since the start of the conflict. The research does not cover Western Tigray and some parts of Northwestern Tigray that was still under the control of the hostile Ethiopian and Eritrean forces. The lives lost from the Educational Society of Tigray. 1,911 students, 235 teachers and other staff members, including the academic leadership. Totally, 2,146 members of the Educational Society lost their lives during the aggression period, out of which 1,798 are female, and 348 are male. This is a mere figure depending on the data we had till September 2021. Even before and after, we could have life casualties. We may have life casualties in different areas that we couldn't access and we couldn't get any information about them. According to the head of the Bureau, primary and secondary schools across the state were the targets of deliberate and systematical destruction by Ethiopian and Eritrean forces in addition to two colleges. Among their genocidal targets, education and education, educational infrastructure were the top focuses of this invading and fascist forces. This is not a simple accusation or allegation on them. They themselves spilled the beans on how they objectively planned and destroyed Tigrayan infrastructure. And Abubau Tardes' speech was exemplary for this. One of the military commanders of the Ethiopian regime. They also targeted human and historical educational capacities of Tigray. They are well aware of damaging education as best instrument to eliminate people in both short and long term. The direct damage on materials and facilities, classrooms, if we see classrooms, 88.7% is damaged, 88.27. Administration buildings, 31.65%. And here I want to declare that Abi Adi Teachers College is 100% damaged. Shishai said that while the government had commenced primary education in the hopes of salvaging the impacts of the damage on the education system, just 20% of students had managed to enroll, a figure that has continued to drop. We had enrollment of 85.45% in 2020. Now, by the attempt we tried to enroll grade one to six students, focusing on the children, it dropped down to 20.8%. Even this 20.8% is getting down and down. Maybe after a few, uh, after some time, we may even have zero enrollment because students are rolling out because of the siege, because of the hunger, the famine, continuing. And on top of that, the continued drone attacks is returning students from the doors of the schools. Lastly, the head called on UN agencies, international and local NGOs, and civic societies to join hands to mobilize different resources, address emergency demands, and long-term rehabilitation endeavors.